Let's take a look at number seven from homework 17. This is a word problem and they are giving us a revenue function. They're talking about manufacturing watches and they give us, it's not the revenue function, they're giving us the marginal revenue function. R prime of x, and in my case it's negative 0.007x plus 15, okay? And what they want, part A, is asking what is R of x? If this is the marginal revenue function, what is the revenue function itself? Well, we learned before when we were learning about all of these that the marginal revenue function is just the derivative of the revenue function. So in order to go from the derivative back to the original function, we have to take an integral. So what we're looking for is the integral of negative 0.007x plus 15, okay? So you're just going to take whatever they gave you as your marginal revenue function and you're going to find the integral of that and that's with respect to x. Okay, so let's do that. That's negative 0.007 x squared over 2 because the integral of x is x squared over 2 plus 15x. Okay, we can simplify that. That gives us negative 0.0035 x squared plus 15x. And that is the answer that you're looking for for part A. Now the next question they're asking us in part B is they're asking us to find the demand equation. Okay, the demand equation. That was P, all right? And we learned before that there was a relationship between P and R of X. We've seen this in questions before. You're going to need to remember it in the future because they're not going to tell you this. This should be something that you should have kind of at the tip of your fingers when you need it. If you want to go from P to R of X, you need to multiply P times X. So P times X equals R of X. All right? So in this case, we have P times X equals, well, we have R of X. That's negative 0.0035x squared plus 15x, right? And if we want to just solve it for P, well, let's divide the whole thing by X. So if we divide this both sides by X, we get well, with a little bit of simplification, you can see that basically these x's are going to go away. This would be the same as x times negative 0.0035x plus 15 over x. The x's will cancel, and your answer for p is just going to be negative 0, 0, or negative 0.0035x minus 5, or plus 15. I'm sorry, can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> okay, so let's go over this again. They give you a revenue function, and they want, or they give you a marginal revenue function, and they want the original revenue function back. Well, the marginal revenue function is just the derivative of the revenue function. So to get back the original function, we have to take the integral. So we find the integral of negative exactly what they gave us, the integral of negative 0.007x plus 15. And we're doing that with respect to x. We follow our integration rules and simplify, and that gives us this here. For part b, they want p. They want the demand equation. We know from past lessons that p times x is the revenue function. So p times x is exactly what we found for the revenue function up here. So if we just want p, we need to divide the revenue function by x. And when we did that, we got cancellation, which is kind of hard to cancel an x, I guess. Don't look at those x's. And that left us with negative 0.0035x plus 15 as our demand equation.